N9DS is a receiver with 10 channels. Now I'm going to show you how to do the binding and how to change signal output. Let's take 89S as an example. Power on the transmitter. And firstly, check if the green LED is always on. If yes, then we can process the binding directly. If the green one is off, and enter parameter menu and turn on the RF mode. Then the LED will be always on and the transmitter is ready to bind. Then power on the receiver. We can see that the LED indicator is always on. Long press the binding button until the LED indicator flashes quickly, meaning binding process is ongoing and release the button. When the LED stops flashing and is always on, and we can see that a signal tower shown on top of the LCD screen of the transmitter. Binding is complete. There are totally two signal outputs for R9DS, SBUS, or PWM. We can see that the current LED color is blue or purple, meaning its current signal output is SBUS. And the sticker pasted on the receiver we can see that the SBUS output is on channel 9. If we want to change the signal output as PWM, we need to short press the binding button twice within one second. We can see that the LED turns red, meaning the current signal output is PWM. The receiver R9DS is compatible with Radiolink transmitter 89S and 89S Pro and 8010. When using this receiver, if the firmware of your transmitter is the latest, we also need to enter the system menu to check the channel quantity at channel select and change it as 10 channels because R9DS is the 10 channel receiver and this step is very important and can be skipped 